Well, hello everybody, F124 is officially out, and it's time to get you guys set up on your triple monitor rig. Now, of course, EA has yet to make this game uh, properly triple monitor optimized as it is, but I found a great way to get around the you know base settings of the game to be able to set it up for triple monitors. Now, in this tutorial, I'm not going to be showing you guys the NVIDIA surround system, though that does work. If you already have NVIDIA surround, it should be pretty plug and play. You probably already know how to use it. But if you don't like using NVIDIA surround and you want to use the built-in game files to make it just launch up like that every single time, and you can use your computer for other stuff, not on triple monitor mode, which is what I use, uh, this tutorial is definitely the right thing for you. Now, even if you do use NVIDIA surround, I will also be getting into setting up your camera settings exactly right once you're in the game to optimize it for triple monitors because as it comes out of the box, it just feels super unnatural. And so I've gotten pretty good at figuring out these camera settings in the game to make it feel a lot better. So we're going to cover both, obviously, the non-NVIDIA surround game file setup as well as the in-game camera settings. Let's go get after it. So first things first, you're going to want to launch up F124 at least once. So that way your game files have been created in your document folder. Then you're going to go ahead and go to your file explorer, find your documents. Go down to My Games, really simple. Go ahead and open up F124. Go to your hardware settings. And then open up your hardware setting config uh, with some editable document software, such as WordPad is a really good way to use it. Really simple. You do not want to open it by Microsoft Edge, though. It will pop up like this, boom, and this is what it's going to look like when you first launch it up. You're going to have your resolution width and height and display mode are three of the things we're going to change, as well as your window position. So resolution width, you're going to want to uh, set to three times your resolution width. In my case, that is 7680 because I have 2K monitors. If you had um, normal, you know, 1920 by 1080 uh, monitors, you would go ahead and set this to 5760 for your resolution width. Your height should stay the same. You shouldn't have to change that. And display mode puts it to zero, which is windowed borderless mode. Then you're going to window position. This is super important. So window position, you're obviously going to do uh, negative one of your monitor resolutions width. So in my case, I got 2560 by 1440. So we'll go negative 2560 plus eight. And the eight pushes it over to cover up the entirety of the screen and cover up for your bezels. You can go ahead and tweak this to whatever fits best for you. For my bezels, it was eight was the exact proper uh, bezel width amount per pixel. The why, this is super important. Because of the fact that we're in windowed borderless, we want to make sure that we can cover up the taskbars. And so you do that by doing negative 31. I don't know exactly why this works. I just know it does. And sometimes you don't need to know why. You just need to know it does. And this does. So that's how you're going to do it. You're going to go ahead and go up to your file. Make sure you click save. So you have it saved up proper. Um, go ahead and uh, double check all your work. Make sure it's good. Resolution width, your height, display mode zero. Window position, negative 2568. The Y, negative 31. Easy as that. All right. Now that we've got the triple monitors set up properly, let's go ahead and jump into the car and we can set up our camera settings proper. Okay, so we're here at the main menu. As you can see, my triple monitors are up and running, working. They look great. Look at how it looks on the game. It looks pretty good. Now, you can see my camera looks already pretty optimized for where I'm sitting in my field of view. It's because I've already gotten into the camera settings. Let's go check those out. So we're going to go ahead and drop down to the settings right here. Go into your camera customization. And let's take a look at this stuff. I've got field of view, offset horizontal, offset vertical, uh, the angle, near clip, plane, mirror angle, camera shape, camera movement, lift apex, halo column, etc., etc. First things first, I always do turn this freaking halo column off if you're on triples. Oh my gosh, this is a huge obstruction. If you're on VR, leave this on. If you're on triples, just get rid of it. Who needs it? The very first thing I do though is I put this offset horizontal just straight up to 20. Uh, I'm on 32 inch monitors, triple 32s that are sitting about 25 inches away from my face. That means that monitor is pretty far away. And so to kind of compensate that distance, uh, I have to put the offset pretty far uh, forward. As you can see, that basically moves me closer towards the wheel. It just immediately makes the game look a lot better uh, when it comes to your offset stuff. Now, the next thing I do from there, as soon as I get that, I just recommend everybody do it to 20. Uh, play with it a little bit if you want to, but probably 20 is going to be your move. Then you do your field of view. This, you want to look to the sides of your screen as you obviously, you know, look obviously left and right and look to see the edges of your uh, monitor. For me, I can see right here all the way to the edge of my mirror. Look at how stretched it is because, of, of course, fortunately, no proper support. Uh, and the other way is also quite stretched like that as well. It fixes camera, so look a little bit better. So 
I personally set my field of view up to negative six. I find this to be a very good spot. As you can see, as we go up closer to zero, you can see a lot more of it. The stretch angle is actually a lot worse as well when you're at zero. This, the hard part about this, though, is every single car is a little bit different. Um, in F1, you know, the Red Bull has a different angle for uh, its mirrors and where the mirrors are placed versus the McLaren versus the Mercedes. And so they'll all be kind of a different spots. And so if you're using your side mirrors, this is the big thing that you're going to need to, you know, mess with this setting, the field of view, uh, to get your side mirrors exactly perfect. Uh, I personally like a good negative six for the McLaren. When I'm in the Williams, I'm using like negative four. Uh, but yeah, negative six is that kind of my hot spot. Offset vertical is how high you sit into the car. I like sitting 11. I'm a short king. I'm short as crap. So I want to sit pretty high up in there. Angle, I put down a negative six. So I'm looking downwards, which also does feel nicer. I'm kind of looking down into the track so I can see the uh, apex a little bit better. Mirror angle, entirely personal preference. I like it at negative one so I can look a little bit farther down. Zero is totally fine though. You can't really see it from here, but you can see over here the angle changing a little bit, right? So I'm going to leave it at negative one. Camera shake and camera movement, also up to you. Esports people will tell you turn these to straight up zero. I like a little bit of it. I find it really nice for the immersion aspect, so I keep it at a low. Camera shake at four, and the camera movement at two. Look to apex, throw this thing down to zero. What it does is when you're turning in, uh, the camera will like look towards where you're turning. Not good for triples. Maybe good for singles if you want to you know, increase some of your field of view just a little bit. Triples, absolutely no bueno. Um, that is the camera settings explained. Uh, I personally think it's the best settings for me. Now, obviously, you're going to want to do a little bit of tweaking yourself. But this is a great baseline to start on with uh, with your triple monitors uh, here on F124. All right. And that is the camera settings all set up. Take a look at what it looks like in action. I think it looks pretty dang good. Uh, at least me, Percy, it fits exactly what I was looking for. Uh, it gives me a great field of view. Uh, I feel like I'm getting really good you know, camera angles for everything. I can see my side mirrors exactly where I want them to be. Uh, so it really seems to be a good fit for me. If you have any other fits that you think are going to work better for you, if you want to go a little bit farther out, feel free to change that horizontal offset or your field of view to fit your style. But outside of that, I think everything else is pretty plug and play. Probably going to be good for basically everybody else. Alrighty, guys, and that is it for today's tutorial to set up your triple monitors here on F124. If you liked the video, make sure you obviously like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll love you have around more often. We're usually not doing tutorial videos most of the time. You'll be seeing us do some fun sim racing uh, events, stories, basically telling stories about sim racing uh, through the everyday lens, and it's a lot of fun here on the channel. But of course, I had to show you guys exactly how to get triple monitors set up here on the new F1 game, because uh, I think I've got a pretty good system already. I've been playing with it for a few weeks, and I really like this, uh, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, of course, if you have any other questions, make sure you leave them below in the comments. Uh, if you have anything that you did when you're setting this up that worked a little bit better for you, please let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to see if there might be some tweaks we can do to make this even more optimized for people. Um, but of course, y'all, until next time, keep being wonderful, keep making the world a better place, See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.